Good morning. Good morning. That's a little more. Welcome to this Tuesday chapel service in Carr Chapel. Welcome to those of you physically present and socially distant here. Welcome to those of you physically distant but socially present at home. And welcome on this first day of the month. Calendars have not been kind for quite some time. If we think of the beginning of the academic year, the first of the month of September, for example, brought new legislation to bear in Texas that sought to limit the rights 
of people concerned about reproductive health or, say, voting. If we think about the first of this calendar year, such holy days as Epiphany and Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday were coming only to be violated by the anniversary of an insurrection and the hostage crisis at a synagogue in Colleyville. What does this first day have to say to us, thankfully? It refers neither to a calendar year nor an academic year, but being on the verge of an important season in the Christian liturgical year. A cycle of seasons that, for some time, has been available to us to help make sense of all the other ways in which the calendar can be unkind. And so it is that we welcome you to this preparation to observe Lent that begins officially with Ash Wednesday tomorrow, and that we seek not to let the spirit of the previous month that in this chapel so brilliantly celebrated Black history end, but to continue in appropriately, appropriately in its invitation, as so many of the messages of last month offered, to self-examination, introspection, fasting in the way in which the Holy One desires fasting, according to the Hebrew Bible, the prophet Isaiah, who in chapter 58 doesn't desire our showing up to show off in our fasting so much as our showing out in fasting from injustice in committing to loosing the bonds of oppression. So it is that I invite you to join in singing our opening worship song, the anonymous and yet deeply personal spiritual, I want Jesus to walk with.
Good morning, Bright Divinity, and welcome to our chapel worship today. Uh, a couple announcements. We got a busy week right before spring break next week. Um, if you'll join us right after chapel in Weatherly Hall for a community conversation today, we welcome guest speaker for another wonderful talk. And also going on this weekend is the uh, Southwest Commission on Religious Studies annual meeting at the Dallas Marriott in Las Colinas, where I believe some of our members of the Bright community are uh, speaking at. Um, and if we'll give a bright welcome to uh, Dr. Terry and Dr. Poppy for putting on chapel day. Thank you. So we are going to do a call and response uh, in a sense here. Um, where We will be singing together as a community and then Dr. Poppy uh, will be bringing scripture from uh, Second Corinthians. Uh, this was a new song to me, so Scott and I are going to introduce the song uh, here, and then if you would uh, feel free to sing after we introduce it, and uh, just follow the screen or your QR code uh, file. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength, teach me your song, shelter me in the shadow of your wing. For we are your righteousness. If we die to ourselves and live to your death and we will be healed again and be blessed in your love create in me a clear heart oh god let me be like you in all my ways give me your strength me your song, shelter me in the shadow of your wings, for we are your righteousness. If we die to ourselves and live through your death, and we shall be treat you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. For our sake, God made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength. Teach me your song. Shelter me in the shadow of your wing. For we are your righteousness. If we die to ourselves and live to your death, and we shall be born again to be blessed in your love. As we work together with Christ, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For God says, at an acceptable time, I have listened to you. And on a day of salvation, I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength. Teach me 
your song shelter me in the shadow of your wing for we are your righteousness if we die to ourselves and live through your death and we shall be We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We are treated as impostors and yet are true as unknown and yet are well known, as dying and see, we live, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing everything. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength. Teach me your song. Shelter me in the shadow of your wing. For we are your Dear siblings in Christ, the early Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Christ's passion and resurrection, and it became the custom of the church that before the Easter celebration, there should be a 40-day season of spiritual preparation. During this season, converts to the faith were prepared for holy baptism. It was also a time when persons who had committed serious sins and had separated themselves from the community of faith were reconciled by penitence and forgiveness and restored to participation in the life of the church. In this way, the whole congregation was reminded of the mercy and forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel of Jesus Christ and the need we all have to renew our faith. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the church to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word. To make a right beginning of repentance and as a mark of our mortal nature, let us now bow in our hearts before our creator and redeemer in silent prayers of confession.
May the almighty and merciful God, who desires not the death of a sinner, but that we turn from wickedness and live, accept our repentance, forgive our sins, and restore us by the Holy Spirit to newness of life. I invite you as you hear this song of reflection, those of you at home, uh, to prepare your elements for the table fellowship to follow. And at this table, everybody's welcome. At this table, everyone is seen. At this table, everybody matters. No one falls between. At this table, you can say whatever. At this table, you can speak your mind. At this table, everything's forgiven. There's enough for everyone. So come as you are. Remember that the door is always open. Yes, come. as you are. At this table, there will be no judgment. At this table, mercy has a seat. At this table, we're all God's children. There's a place no other place I'd rather be. So come as you are. Remember that the door is always open. Come as you are. The bird your heart so come come as you are come as you are at this table everybody's welcome at this table, everybody cares. At this table, everybody matters. So come, pull up a chair. As we celebrate the great Thanksgiving together, I will invite you to join your voices together for the portions in bold. The Holy One be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to God. 
is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, O Holy One, creator of heaven and earth. You brought all things into being and called them good. From the dust of the earth, you formed us into your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. When rain fell upon the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, you bore up the ark on the waters, saved Noah and his family, and made covenant with every living creature on earth. When you led your people to Mount Sinai for 40 days and 40 nights, you gave us your commandments and made us your covenant people. When your people forsook your covenant, your prophet Elijah fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and on your holy mountain he heard your still, small voice. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn, Holy, holy, holy God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Holy One. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. When you gave him to save us from sin, your spirit led him into the wilderness where he fasted 40 days and 40 nights to prepare for his ministry. When he suffered and died on a cross, you raised him to life, presented him alive to the apostles during 40 days and exalted him at your right hand. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from the oppression of sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. Now, when we, your people, prepare for the yearly feast of Easter, you lead us to repentance for sin and the cleansing of our hearts, that during these 40 days of Lent, we may be gifted and graced to reaffirm the covenant you made with us through Christ. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, Jesus took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us, as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and cup. Make them be for us, the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through, Through your, your son, Jesus Christ, Christ with, with the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, spirit 
in your, in your holy, holy church. church. All, All honor and, and glory is yours, Almighty God, God now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. As we invite our server to come forward and join us, we instruct those who are present in the chapel that on either side you will find uh, wheat-based wafers and cup together, and in the center you will find gluten-free wafers and cup together. Wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Christ of bliss to bear the dreadful
Now to the one who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of the divine glory with rejoicing. To the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now, and forever. Amen. Thank you.